So this almost cost me pretty good. Well, good morning. It's good morning here anyways. Hope you guys are having a good day. Thanks for stopping by today's video. Um, as you probably already seen that, I'm going to be working on the road today. And we got to get this. Let me show you. Let me show you just how bad it is right here. Then I'll walk up here and show you what happens when they get off the road. So the road is pretty solid. for It's, it's, it's solid for our vehicles. But when I get these bigger loads in here, that's when we're having trouble. But we have to get them in here, especially get them back to um, where the house site is going to be. Um, so they can get more gravel back in there. So the main focus is getting this first initial drive um, Good enough for them to get back here uh, back in June of last year. It was solid It I mean it was dry as could be solid. You could, didn't even need gravel to get back in here Well, this wet season has really showed its true colors out here on this property. Check this out So you got to you got to think it has been rainy rainy rainy, but this is this is how bad it is that that right there is just holding water i pushed a tree over right there and you can they cannot get in here at all this is the furthest they can get is right here where i have them dump it um i had two two loads of three inch base tailgated through here really thick right here that way i could back drag it you probably seen some of that um so they they got a solid foundation as long as they stay on the road all the way up to this point and then we got about i don't know probably a good 70 foot section right here that we have to spread um these five loads out on three actually three loads now but 
um, we'll, I'll, I'll back drag and push all this up right here and get this a good solid base again. And you can see I do have driveway cloth down through here, but when I brought the dozer in here, um, the, the gravel was so thin on here, it tore up a lot of the driveway cloth. So I could, I, I could try to tear all this up, but I think that would do even more damage than, than good. Um, just by leaving this how, how it is, it's still gonna have the driveway cloth underneath there just in spots it's gonna be a little messed up right now but once we get the base down we'll never even know but check this out that's some of the rut area where they came in last time and almost got stuck in this one little low spot so like i said it's probably about a 60 to 75 foot section here that is just extremely extremely bad it's it's rough to drive our vehicles on here because we're gonna get stuck just because it's like boom 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 so that's what we're gonna fix today we'll walk up here i'll show you exactly what happens um, when they do get off the road because it's it's kind of hard at times to back them trucks up I get it um, and uh, he just I mean you just barely got to get off with a heavy load like that and you're gonna rut 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 let me show you this big old rut that just just got made and I'll show you what we're dealing with out here look at that that's just him barely getting off the road off the base and it just rutted it up that's a good that's a good foot deep right there he luckily he got out of it so I'll, I'll fill that back in, that's not a problem. I just don't want them getting stuck. So by the end of today, we ought to have this road worthy of the big trucks to get back there even further. So that's the goal for today. We'll do some other stuff. I'm sure Brandy and the girls will show up at some point. Um, this is kind of just gonna be a vlog. I won't show you just fixing the road. I wanna show you clearing a spot out for um, the shipping container. Let me show you, I already cleared this spot out last night. I didn't have my camera with me, um, but I had this for a couple hours last night before it got dark and I worked on this. So this is where I was showing you guys um, last night. The second option for a shipping container is right here. And I would like, I would like to lay some gravel down in here just for that. We'll see, we'll see how it ends up going. I really don't want to have a gravel road through here, but that may be something we have to do if that's where we're going to put it. So I've done a little research on how much these shipping containers weigh and the one we're wanting is um, these trucks are twice the uh, the weight of a ship a 40 foot ship container i looked it up it's like maybe eight thousand pounds for a ship container they're bringing in i say ha no it's well well it's way less than half let me show you how many tons that truck weighed it was on here it says the gross weight of their truck was fifty two thousand pounds um, but then it says ton weight is 15 tons so that's 15 tons of weight coming on this road and that's not normal you normally won't have that kind of weight on a normal basis coming through here basically just whenever you're trying to get your road done um, now we have to get this worthy for the concrete truck obviously that's going to be a similar weight if not more um, but for the ship container it's going to be like eight thousand pounds plus a, plus a uh uh, a pickup truck um, because they're not gonna they don't bring a semi with this i've seen the videos that this company does they just pull, pull it on one of their trucks uh so yeah once we get this down that won't be i don't think that'll be an issue at all um the, the main issue is going to be the the big trucks that we get in here i think once this is good we're, we're gonna be good to go so i'm gonna set the camera up i'll record them dumping a few more than me working on it and then uh, we'll kind of just go from there with the vlog today so hope you guys like if you do smash that like button if you're not subscribed yet please subscribe to the channel if you're new here we are building a off-grid homestead from scratch we bought 40 well i said 40 it's 36 and a half acres i might just start calling it the 40 because it sounds better than 36 and a half so we bought we got 40 we got the 40 out here and um it was completely raw land looked just like that thick like that when we got it we've done everything here we've done trails roads we've got the well um it's a it's from scratch legit from scratch um so yeah that's what we got going on here on keeping it dutch
What are you doing, piggies? Piggy, piggy. What you doing? <laughs> well, your little pond's going back down. Going down pretty quick. I like in that water. That rain water, rain muddy, muddy rain water. I didn't bring any snacks for you guys, but the girls are coming out. It's so Brandy and the girls are going to come out and bring me some lunch here in a little bit. So uh, we'll see what they're up to once they get out here. But right now, I got the road done as uh, much as I could. It's, it's way, way better. And I'll show you guys. I might throw the drone up maybe and uh, show you guys some footage of it. Um, but it's 100% better than what it was. And I'm pretty happy with it. I'm still going to need a lot of gravel in here just to finish everything else we got going on the rest of the road. That was just the main part that the trucks could not the big trucks would not be able to get back in here i'm pretty positive now once that settles in for a little bit um, i can get the trucks back in here to where i where i need uh, where, I, where i'll need them at so right now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna work on clearing out this spot um, for the shipping container back here and i forgot my chainsaw and i don't know i think brandy might have left right i'm gonna call her um i was gonna cut i need to cut this tree down right here this i gotta get this uh cut up first i'm gonna call brandy and see um if she's left yet well i don't think i caught that on camera but a swarm of bees literally just went right above my head and went that way it was a bunch of them i heard them coming so that brought back some memories uh from when i was in the marine corps the first swarm of bees i've ever seen in in person was when i was in the marines and it was literally like on like winnie the pooh like on a uh, on a, um, a cartoon that you would see a big old ball of bees just coming at you that's we we're down we we're down there working with ammunition and some bombs and missiles and just look i heard right now we heard this humming sound i was like what is that and I looked outside the mag uh, outside the mag and and i seen this big old ball and i was like that is bees and it literally chased us through i mean it was crazy it chased us through these we'll call them magazines like big bunkers of ammo and out the door and we finally ducked away from them up and above it and they just kept going i don't know killer bees well i have no idea but it was crazy that, that brought back memories it was a big old swarm too it just went right over my head went straight that way i called brandy she hasn't left yet so she's gonna bring out the chainsaw but in the meantime i think what i'm gonna do since i got the um, bobcat or the cat out here i'm gonna i'm gonna back drag and scrape all this area up right here that we're always in and i'm gonna move all the all that and i'm gonna get it cleaned up and uh, that way it'll be nice right here so i'll show you a little bit of that and then when brandy and the girls get out here we'll talk to them What'd you bring me? <laughs> Thank you. Okay. What shirt you got on? Let's say. Yeah. You gonna get in there and run that thing for me? Why? No. Huh? No. What y'all doing? We're just in the hammock. Okay, I'm gonna eat my lunch. Thanks for bringing it to me. You're welcome. You're welcome. It's from Subway. It is. Yeah. Okay. It's what you wanted. Where are you guys gonna eat? Subway. Oh, you're gonna go back to there? Mm -hmm. I figured you get it and bring it out here. So Brandy and the girls just left. She brought me the saw, brought me some lunch, got me energized, and we're ready to cut some wood. 
I got this in I got this one uh, tree in the way and I got one more I'm gonna cut it into a couple sections and we'll push it out of the way before I turn the camera on, I had a deer standing right there that's that's pretty awesome I want I've been wanting to put a feeder out here if you guys watched one video where my trespassing thief neighbor stole our deer feeder and our blind that's when we were gonna sit up out here so we could watch the deer and stuff so I need to go buy another one sometime um, but right now we're gonna cut this up get this moved out of the way and get the place for right here so we can get the ship container in here last night i don't know if i told you guys this year or not last night i think i did i cleared i uh, cleared a spot out up there and uh, that's our second option this being our first one if they can't get back in here then the, the, it's ready for it up there so i got the skids there for a few more hours after i get this cleaned up i'm going to work on a couple trails for the girls to ride the Polaris ranger around i did a little bit of trail clearing last night so it's looking pretty good <laughs> Okay, I cut this where that's probably about a 16 footer. That way I could I could mill this. Not real big, but it's big enough I can mill it. Just cut off at the trunk about 16 foot and then probably another eight or ten foot on the end there. And the same with this one over here. I cut off about 10 foot right in the middle, and then there's a little one right there that might be worth messing with. I don't know, but that one will be for sure. So what I'm gonna do right now is push it all off over there, then work on this, get it out of the way, and get this out of the way. So eventually, once I get my tractor with the grapple, um, I'll work on these brush piles. I'll get the bigger ones out, the stuff I could use for firewood, and then we'll burn the rest. Probably get my brother out here and help, have him help me with that because he needs some firewood too. So that'll be good. Anyone that want, any of my friends watching this need some firewood? I got a bunch of it. Come on. It's all yours for free. I do have some looking back there. Now I got some trees over there that I could cut to mill also. So heck yeah. All right, let's get this moved out of the way so this almost cost me pretty good i had this i bought a new mount for my gopro had it up on top of the bobcat skid steer that's a cat um and it fell off and i don't i don't know when it fell off but i went to get it turned on right now and it was gone and i've only been on the road doing the the driveway work i haven't been out in the in the trees or anything like that yet so i knew a branch didn't hit it it must have just vibrated off i found it right on the edge of the road i'm thankful that this thing it was not part of the road because um, this is pretty much a new gopro that i bought uh, to do stuff like this with and when we go out in town and stuff it's easier to film with but yeah almost cost me a gopro that wouldn't have been good
Okay, I got my spot cleared out and I've been working on some trails uh, for me and the girls and Brandy to ride the, the uh, Ranger on and maybe even their goat carts if I can get it cleaned up good enough. But I got a big dead tree um, right here by the pig pen and it's just begging to fall down during the next storm. So I'm gonna try to push it over with, uh, with the skid steer and uh, see if I can film it for you guys. you can see them or not I just moved this uh, these this leaf pile and there's tons of worms everywhere and the girls were wanting to go fishing look at them yeah, I mean, there's a bunch of them Ooh. I mean they're all in here plants do you have any plants yet <laughs> There's a good one. That's a good one right there. They disappeared, but now that I'm sitting here, wait, wait a minute there. I start seeing them pop up again. I hit the... I hit their hive. done for the day we got it loaded i got kevin here from hidden heights hey what's guys. up kevin what's going on uh kevin's truck pulls way better than mine does is this a 2500 yep three quarter ton three quarter ton I... diesel. oh yeah these <laughs> it actually got pretty good gas mileage i was surprised yeah. i was like man it gets like 20 miles a gallon um kevin came over here yesterday we didn't film i didn't film yesterday but he came and picked it up for me the the cat back there and i worked on the property all day long with you guys seen some of it not all of it and uh, kevin got off work came over and we loaded it back up and now we're going to drop it off over at um, the rental place and uh, it worked pretty good I mean, I had, you put on that thing? probably at least eight 
at least. Got a lot of work done, man. Yeah. yeah I can't I, wait to see the video. Man, you have to come over once we get the trails uh, clear. Bring your Heck kids yeah. over. We got. I, I didn't show you clearing the trails, but I got some really good trails cleared the uh, underbrush and, and wood and stuff that whenever I mowed. Now we're going to go back and cut limbs, and it's going to be a good little trail ride through there. So we'll make a video on that. But um, yeah, thank goodness for Kevin being able to come pick this up for us. <laughs> so we wouldn't got that road done. Anytime, man. We got five loads today, um, about 15 tons of load. So that's a that's lot of. That's a lot of rock. That's a lot of rock in there. And looking at it, I'm probably going to need another 10 loads probably like to finish the road itself and then come back and finish it with the driveway chat wet later down the road we'll drive on this three inch for quite a while so we'll keep you guys updated hope you guys enjoyed today's video if you're not subscribed please subscribe and i love you guys thanks so much for the support and clicking on the video thanks for watching we'll catch you on the next one